horror nerds i'm so excited to show you what is right here now this is the zobi fright director's cut this was about 60 us dollars uh the themes inside this box are pet cemetery highway to hell blade and house on haunted hill now i kind of already knew who the signers were in this box no i didn't spoil it for myself i spoiled for myself afterwards but i knew who these um the autographs were going to be um because they were actually at one of the um conventions i think in the u.s the usa yeah i believe it is um and yeah so they were signing and i was like fucking a i'm like this is a solid box so um this was the january box and um zobi i think has been around for about five years five or six years and so this is like a big box so they put some really big names into this box so normally in this box you get two autographs um, ranging between an 8x10 or 11x14. You normally get like a pin, you get a t-shirt or some some sort of prop. So here we go. So for the, for the shirt, we have, um, it says sometimes dead is better. So this is from Pet Cemetery. So I really like that. It says no fair. And um, they do some really good quality t-shirts. I don't know who the designer is for the t-shirt designs, but whoever it is, they kill it each time. So I'm really happy with that. And I use these as pajama tops. I don't really wear these like, like um, in like outings or anything like that. Now, before we get into the autographs, I'll get into this. So this is an an art print from Highway to Hell. I've never seen it. So one thing I like about Zobi is that they put like a lot of good horror franchises, but they, they put franchises that are like in like the 80s, the 70s and like like the 60s and stuff like that. So like they put like different things that I've never seen before, but I will say I'm not interested in this at all. I will keep it because I'm a horror collector, but I, I probably will not watch this movie. I have no idea what it's about either. Now, Let's get into the juicy one, okay? So this is an 11 by 14. I am sad, which is the photo that I got. I got in the box. Everything is randomized, but this is signed by a bam. So this is signed by Steven Dwarf, who played Deacon Frost in Blade, and that that's fucking sick, in my opinion. So it's a really good image between him and Blade going at it. I do have Wesley Snipes. Um, sorry, Wesley Snipes autograph in my collection downstairs. So this is pretty cool. I wasn't really into collecting the um, Blade autographs, but he's he, I liked him as like a villain in, um, in the first Blade and it is JSA certified. So that's pretty fucking sick. Now this one, my mom's gonna go like ape shit for when she sees who signed this one, okay? So this is an eight by 10. It is JSA certified and ba-bam. So this is from House on Haunted Hill and you're never gonna believe who fucking signed it, you guys. You guessed it, Chris Kattan, the guy who played A Night at the Roxbury with the guy who goes with his head or whatever, not not Will Ferrell, but the other guy. So, and that's him right there. So yeah, when I saw that um, he was in the, like the convention, I was like, well, this box already sold itself. It's not just because of the franchises, because I knew who they were gonna be and like, this was a must get. And I actually like this photograph. Um, I can't remember what this is about exactly. I know they all go into like a whole, like- um for money, like, it's a birthday party. Yeah, like a mansion for like, like yeah, for a birthday party. And then they all, everybody starts like dying and shit. And like, I remember that one scene with this guy where like, it was like some sort of like ghost or whatever that like was like, he was like possessed. And like he walked into like this blood bath or goop or whatever. I can't remember, but I, I definitely will watch it. So it has a good cast too. I don't know who her name is, but I know that's Ali Larder right there. But yeah, so it was a pretty solid box, I'm not gonna lie. And here is the cheat sheet. So this is the January director's cut box. So it says, um, this is an 11 by 14 hand signed by Steven Dorf in Blade. Honestly, this is a really good shot of him, but I would prefer that one because I liked I like Jessica Biel on that one and it has like all of them from all of the franchises, one, two, and three. Um, and then the uh, hand signed by Chris Kattan in House of Haunted Hill. And then your exclusive t-shirt is, uh, sorry, exclusive t-shirt Pet Cemetery by Ben. 
And then your exclusive art print is from Highway to Hill by Max. I have no idea who those are. But yeah, so each year, um, they, you know, they were doing this like bi-monthly and now all of a sudden they did an announcement, which is really sad. So there's going to be no more Zobi Fright Director's Cut boxes. They're going to go strictly month to month subscription boxes. So one's going to be $35 if, and which you're saving five and then the other one's going to be 40. So from now on, there's going to be no two autographs in a box. It's just going to be one autograph going forwards, but an additional $20 if you want like a second autograph, but that's going to be randomized. And then they're gonna put like um, autograph signed props in the boxes. You're still gonna get your t-shirts. You're still gonna get your pins. Um, but it's just sad that the Zobi, cause I really like the director's cut because you get quality right here. You get two autographs in a box and this box already, these two autographs alone just paid for the box. And like, these are just bonus items personally. So yeah, leave a like, leave a comment and I will drop it in my YouTube, uh, the link to Zobi Productions. Ciao for now.